What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are good. And today we're going to be taking just a quick look at the English League Guardians. Now we've already covered these players in detail. If you've missed any of the videos, we are also working on a very, the ultimate guide to Vieira. We've got him, we've played with him, we've opened the packs and we have got Patrick Vieira. We are going to be beasting with him, hopefully. But I just feel like where the gameplay is at at the moment, they're really steering you towards just using defensive players uh, kind of like for exactly that purpose, just to get the ball back and get rid of it. I mean, you can't really dribble with these guys. They're just kind of destroyers or disruptors, right? So as I said, we did pack Vieira, check. We also got these part of these guardians, the English League guardians. You've got Ruben Diaz, Pau Torres, and the rest of the players you see here in the purple, Van de Ven, Anderson, Amrabat, Paulinho, Jose Saz, the goalkeeper, and Endo as the DMF, right? So these, these are part of the 150 pack that you see here, right? We're not going to cover every single player. I mean, as ever, we're going to keep this short and sweet and just kind of gloss over a few of the players such as Sa. I mean, he's just your you know standard goalkeeper, lads. I mean, you don't really need to uh, do much of a training guide with him. Just boost up what you can. He's not going to be like a meta goalkeeper or a top class goalkeeper, no matter what way you train him, right? I would also say the same about Paulinho, but we'll get into him in a second. Um, And I definitely would say the same about Anderson here right just doesn't have enough and he is down his build up he does also have a lot of player skills missing as well as only standard form so he's probably the weakest selection of it there the rest of the players that we're going to go into I am working on a very in-depth build um, or a review of Amrabat because I do think he is a bit of a game changer if you can get him he's a box to box but he's got stats like an anchorman so if you've noticed a lot of the changes that they've started to do to the cards now is to tight possession and to physical contact a lot of the strong players are now just able to dominate. I mean, when the game is playing and it's flowing, this can make a big difference to your to your game, right? So again, you've got all the player skills there that you could possibly want, apart from blockers. So a lot of these cards are going to need a little bit of TLC, a little bit of investment into them. They're not going to be able to compete um, you know, straight off the box, I think, unless you give them the dedicated player skills. So for example, with Amrabat, I will focus on a traditional player review, an in-depth player review with gameplay clips and why he's so good. Um, if you guys want to see that, make sure and like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments below if that's something that you'd like as well, similar to the Vieira video that I've done, kind of an in-depth look, right? But we're just going to go over to eFootballDB here, lads, really quickly. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm going to get straight to the point here. We are going to go over to the builds, right? So we're going over to eFootballDB, and I'm going to show you the builds that I have for the different players. So first up is going to be Ruben Diaz, who goes 7 into Dexterity, 5 into Lower Body, 8 into Aerial Strength, and 12 into Defending. That's going to give you a monster of a centre-back. Now, if you do pull this guy the only downfall of him at the moment is that he's on e form right you can see there his card is on e form but he's very strong he's very physical he's got a good height he's got a good weight um a lot of the stuff that they control now is either with the players that are over 80 kg they move slightly bulkier they like they're not as mobile as kind of like you know smaller strong players such as Makalele or Romario or the new Messi but what you will notice a lot of the time as well is that they will have high physical contact and they will also have fairly decent stamina as well as all the defensive stats really decently uh, into the 90s as well. I mean, this is an insane card if you do get him, apart from the player form there, which is a big bust on this card this week. But that will change, man. That will change with the live data update, right? We also have Pau Torres here as well. Similar card, similar build, similar kind of style. Obviously, Ruben Diaz is 186. Pau Torres is 192. And they have added a little bit to the physicality um, with the slower base gameplay, right? And I do feel like it's all kind of legs and arms now in the game, right? It's kind of all legs that if you can block the passing lanes, it's going to be very, very OP. And I think that Pau Torres is one of those guys that can do that, right? So this is the build that we've gone for with him. Only 8 into aerial strength, but 15 into defending. That's going to get us all our defensive stats where we want them. His jump and physical contact are going to be backed up by his massive height. And of course, he's got blocker, aerial superiority, and acrobatic clearance, right? The one thing I would say about um, Ruben Diaz is he is missing uh, blockers. So again, that's what I was saying and kind of alluding to earlier, is that you do need to put a bit of time into these players even with Pau Torres he has heading and aerial superiority blocker man marking but he doesn't have slide tackle he doesn't have fighting spirit whereas Ruben Diaz he does have fighting spirit and slide and tackle but he doesn't have blocker so you see the way they're trying to balance things right <laughs> um it's 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 very balanced now right we also have a Palinia this guy I did actually get him as well he's a DMF he doesn't have blocker he doesn't have um 
he doesn't have oh he does have aerial superiority sorry but he does have one touch pass as well which i like so we don't need to boost up his passing more than four eight into lower body six into aerial strength and 16 into defending that's going to get us a beast there he's down as a destroyer he's on d rating so that is a bit of a pity he won't get in my squad this week but next week we'll be able to do a proper test on him we also have amrabat all these players follow the same trend lads right you're going to be boosting up their defense all you want to do with your defensive players is to get the ball back as soon as you possibly can check out my Vieira video that is exactly what you want from any of your dmfs whether they're box to box or destroyers that's where the gameplay has gone at the moment i will get into that a little bit later but i do feel they're going to change it this thursday so i'm holding off a little bit i know people are talking about different things but i feel like they are changing it a little bit um too defensive uh you know with the ai and stuff which we'll get into well uh so with this defensive build you're going to have 97 aggression and defensive engagement 17 into defending as you see there down the left you can see that if you want to pause the video and of course his player skills you're going to have to put blocker on him as well if you want him as your kind of like deep line uh instructions on him right van de ven just to round us off and endo we've got van de ven as our center back he's got very unusual stats he's got 60 acceleration but 85 speed he's got 90 physical contact but 60 balance so he's kind of neither here nor there like that but he's got 90 header 90 tackling 89 defensive awareness we are taking these builds on lads with no manager boosts we're not taking that into consideration again because it's busted um i've done a video on that if you want to check it out you can but that's the build we've gone with there into 14 into defending the rest of the stats there and the build and then last but not least we have endo so again we are just going to be focusing on what makes this guy good right so player skills wise he is missing blocker if you're using him as an anchor man i think this card is definitely underrated he's kind of like a hidden gem brilliant speed and acceleration for a dmf that has 90 in every defensive stat while also hitting um 80 plus with physical stamina and jump and then having 70 tight possession and 70 low pass very very nice card he's low lofted pass he's got weighted pass you stick blocker on him and one touch pass in fact stick one touch pass on any of these dmf players amrabat or palinia they're going to be beastly right so that is it for me let's just short and sweet we don't want to keep it too long but let me know what you guys think if you've spun right i would definitely not recommend to spin for any of these apart from maybe ruben diaz unless you have you know you've got a favorite player but i do feel like amrabat could be a bit of a game changer depending on how you train him up right so i haven't stuck any blocker card on him yet um but i will definitely try to stick the blocker card on him because he has one touch pass he has low lofted and weighted pass he has interception track back slide and tackle and fighting spirit he is a beast in the game i've played it in quite a bit so i will get my full review out of him if there's any other player you want a full review on if you want me to spin for more um any of these players to test them out for you guys i mean you kind of know how they're going to play just based on on, on kind of where the game is at at the moment but if you do want me to do any other tr uh, builds on this let me know don't forget to like and subscribe and we will talk to you later peace